The global banking system is a complex network of institutions, agreements, and actors that facilitate the flow of financial capital across borders for investment and trade financing purposes. However, this system is not immune to breakdowns, as evidenced by a series of financial crises in Europe, Asia, and the United States in recent decades. These crises have highlighted the need for improved regulation and monitoring of global financial systems to prevent future catastrophes. So in this video, we are going to discuss Global Banking System is Breakdown. Now before we get into this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 10 is one such initiative aimed at achieving this goal. McKinsey's Global Banking Annual Review 2022 emphasizes the need for banks to become more resilient and reinvent their business models to ride out the current volatile period and achieve long-term growth and profitability. The Global Financial Stability Report provides an assessment of the global financial system and markets, highlighting systemic issues that could pose a risk to financial stability and sustained market growth. The Global Financial Development Database is an extensive data set of financial system characteristics for 214 economies, capturing various aspects of financial depth, access, efficiency, and stability. The Committee on the Global Financial System is a central bank forum for the monitoring and examination of broad issues relating to financial markets and systems. Despite these efforts, the risk of future global financial breakdowns remains, and countries must continue to seek ways to improve the sustainability and stability of the global banking system. The global banking system is a complex network of institutions, agreements, and actors that facilitate the flow of financial capital across borders. However, this system is not immune to breakdowns, as evidenced by the global financial crisis of 2008 and more recent events. In March 2023, the U.S. government's Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, took control of SVB, the biggest banking collapse in America since Washington Mutual in 2008. This event highlights the fragility of the global banking system and the potential for systemic weaknesses to lead to crisis. The COVID-19 pandemic has also exposed vulnerabilities in the global banking system. The pandemic has caused significant disruptions to the global economy, leading to a rise in non-performing loans and a decline in bank profitability. The pandemic has also highlighted the need for greater cooperation and coordination among global financial institutions to address the economic fallout from the pandemic. The global financial system is constantly evolving, and governments and financial institutions must adapt to these changes to maintain stability. The Committee on the Global Financial System CGFS, was established to identify and assess potential sources of stress in global financial markets and to further the understanding of the structural changes affecting the financial system. The CGFS plays a critical role in promoting financial stability and preventing future crises. Despite efforts to improve the stability of the global banking system, there are still significant challenges that must be addressed. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of international consensus on matters such as banking regulation, which perpetuates the risk of future global financial catastrophes. Initiatives like the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 10 are aimed at improving regulation and monitoring of global financial systems. The breakdown of the global banking system can have a significant impact on the economy. The effects of the crisis have weighed heavily on economic growth, financial stability, and bank performance in many jurisdictions. The global banking system is reeling from a series of shocks over the years, and this has led to a decline in the economy. Many banks around the world incurred large losses and relied on government support to avoid bankruptcy during the global financial crisis, and millions of people lost their jobs as a result. The Global Financial Development Database captures various aspects of financial depth, access, efficiency, and stability, and it is based on a 4x2 framework. McKinsey's Global Banking Annual Review emphasizes the need for banks to become more resilient and reinvent their business models to ride out the current volatile period and achieve long-term growth and profitability. The global banking system is a critical component of the global economy, but it is not immune to breakdowns. 
Recent events have highlighted the fragility of the system and the need for greater cooperation and coordination among global financial institutions. Governments and financial institutions must continue to adapt to the changing landscape of the global financial system to maintain stability and prevent future crises. The breakdown in the global banking system can be caused by various factors. One of the causes is the failure of the financial sector to function efficiently, leading to the collapse of one or more financial institutions. The global financial crisis of 2008 was caused by a combination of factors, including the housing bubble, subprime mortgages, and the securitization of loans. Currency and maturity mismatches and off-balance sheet operations of the banking sector were also salient features in many banking crises. The COVID-19 pandemic has also exposed vulnerabilities in the global banking system, leading to a rise in non-performing loans and a decline in bank profitability. In March 2023, the U.S. government's Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, took control of SVB, the biggest banking collapse in America since Washington Mutual in 2008. The bank took a multi-billion dollar loss cashing out U.S., and banks also drew on nearly $12 billion of loans from the Fed's new emergency lending program established at the start of the week with the aim of preventing more banks collapsing. The lack of international consensus on matters such as banking regulation has perpetuated the risk of future global financial catastrophes. Currency and maturity mismatches can contribute to banking crises by increasing the risk of default and liquidity problems. In many banking crises, currency and maturity mismatches were a salient feature. Maturity mismatches occur when banks borrow short-term funds to finance long-term loans, leaving them vulnerable to liquidity problems if depositors withdraw their fund. Currency mismatches occur when banks borrow in one currency and lend in another, exposing them to exchange rate risk and making it difficult to repay their debts if the value of the currency they borrowed in falls. Currency mismatches tend to increase preceding financial crises exacerbating the currency, debt, and banking crisis. The interaction of maturity and currency mismatches during a crisis can also increase the risk of default. Policies, factors, and conditions that could mitigate or avoid double mismatches have been proposed to reduce the risk of banking crisis. A liquidity crisis in a banking system can have severe consequences, including widespread defaults and even bankruptcies. In a liquidity crisis, liquidity problems at individual institutions lead to an acute increase in demand and decrease in supply of liquidity, and the resulting lack of available liquidity can lead to widespread defaults and even bankruptcies. Liquidity problems can occur at a single institution, but a true liquidity crisis usually refers to a simultaneous lack of liquidity across many financial institutions or other businesses. Large, negative economic shocks or normal cyclical changes in the economy can trigger liquidity crisis. Maturity mismatching between assets and liabilities, as well as a resulting lack of properly timed cash flow, are typically at the root of a liquidity crisis. Liquidity issues can turn into capital issues, and large unrealized losses in some banks' securities portfolios are likely to be a more widespread problem. For the economy as a whole, a liquidity crisis means that the two main sources of liquidity in the economy, banks' loans and the bond market, may dry up, leading to a credit crunch and a contraction in economic activity. A liquidity crisis in a banking system can lead to widespread defaults, bankruptcies, and a contraction in economic activity. McKinsey's Global Banking Annual Review is an annual report into the global banking industry that offers insights and expertise from McKinsey's global banking practice. The report is structured in three parts, and it provides an assessment of the current state of the global banking industry, highlighting key trends and challenges. The Global Banking Annual Review 2022 emphasizes the need for banks to become more resilient and reinvent their business models to ride out the current volatile period and achieve long-term growth and profitability. The report forecasts that global banking revenues are likely to see an increase of 5-6% in 2022, and global banking return on equity would rise to approximately 12% in 2022, two percentage points more than in 2021.
The report also highlights the importance of sustainable finance, which has become a meaningful share of bank business. The Global Banking Annual Review is a valuable resource for anyone interested in the global banking industry and its future prospects. The latest McKinsey's Global Banking Annual Review, published in December 2021, provides key insights into the global banking industry. The report highlights that banks rebounded from the pandemic with strong revenue growth from higher margins and capital ratios. Bank profitability reached a 14-year high in 2022, with expected return on equity of between 11.5% and 12.5%. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.